Okay, so this video will uh, tackle about uh, how to save a uh, data to SQL Server database using ESP.NET web application. Okay, so last topic or last video we tackle about how to connect the ESP.NET web application to the SQL Server database. Now, as you can see, this is the last video that we are tackled. Okay, now, I want to save the data from this form to the database. Okay, if I click this save button, okay, if I click the save button, automatic the data will save to our database, which is the database is registration table. Okay. So we will try we will create a program that will save the data from this one if you click this save it will save there okay so first the steps is like this we are using a stored procedure okay so that it will be easy to maintain okay so first we will go here in our database so database is student information db okay now we will create what we call uh, we will create a stored procedure so where okay go to programmatically here in the stored procedure right click stored procedure okay this is the code so i will delete this one control a then delete we will create from scratch we will do like this create procedure dbo dot insert registration for example then as okay. how many parameters is this as you can see here we have four text box okay it means we have four data to save okay so we will create a four parameter. So we will create here four parameter. What's the parameter? First is student ID as in bar car. We put here 50. Then as you can see, it will start at, at sign. It means this is the parameter or the variable. Okay, if this variable, it will start from at sign. Next is first name. Put here 100, your first name. Last name will be in worker. We'll put here 100 also. 100 character like that then year as in okay next is insert into to the table drag this table here values okay here are the field names, student ID, uh, first name, okay. I use this one because here is the, uh, what you call this one, is the keyword in uh, stored procedure, okay. Because if I remove this one, it will be see this is for uh, what you call keyword in stored procedure so you can use this one also 
so that it will be remove the color so first here student id the value will be this one okay student id next is first name last name here okay as you can see the first here is student id the values will be student id parameter here or the value second is the last name a uh, first name third is the last name as you can see so it should be whatever is here it should be here the uh, parameter okay then execute okay command successfully then if you want to edit this one just put alter okay so that if you control f5 oh, no, no, no. so that if you execute again it will be okay it will not be duplicate okay next be careful or just remember the word the name this one okay i will copy this one okay copy control c then go back to our uh, web application i will double click the same okay? okay i will paste first here so that i cannot i will not forget okay try catch exception ex okay so let's start to create a program to save the data so we will declare here one variable or one instantiation object we will put here one because this one i use in connection okay i use this one this button then i will use this one this uh, object here in the same button okay they connect so this this line it means you are connected already then and finally just put here the close so always close the connection after the uh, after the execution okay then through ex then as you can see here we will put a parameter these are the parameter and this is the start procedure okay so how to create uh, the what you call this one the parameter to create that one we will create here in the connection cs as you can see as i told you before this connection is reusable to all forms okay so that it will be easy for you to create code so what is the code for saving the data so the code of that one is this one So we will create here one method. So you can see this is the method for connection. This is one. Then method for close. I will create here also four parameter. Okay, public void add. For example, the name of the parameter is add parameter. Okay. Then the string param name. This is the parameter of the method. Then object param value. Okay, the value of the parameter. Next is 
SQL com dot parameters dot add with value. Okay, we put here param name this one and the param value. See like that. So finish for add parameters. Then for execution of saving the data is this one. I will create one method for here public object. Okay, execute none query string SQL command type. So command type, I will put here using system.data. Okay. Then command type dot, okay, command type is equal to type PDF. Okay. So try watch. Okay, then true dx. Here is SQL com dot connection is equal to SQL con the connection. Okay, SQL com dot command type is equal to the type this one okay then sql com that command text sql sql com that transaction is equal to sql trans sql Transaction. So SQL trans is not yet declared. Okay, so we will declare that one at the top. Okay, so we will put this one here. Oh, private SQL transaction SQL trans. Okay, then SQL trans. Okay, then return SQL com that execute non query. Okay, execute non query, it means there's no return value. Okay, there's no return value if you are using execute non query like save, then update. There's no return value. Means it means you are not getting the data from the database. You are updating or inserting the data to the database. Okay, so now we are finished here. As you can see, this one is reusable, so we can use that one here the same okay these are the parameter okay i'll show you how to call the parameter method that add parameter param name the parameter then the value is txt student id okay this one this is the param add param param name txt first name this is the first name okay i will copy this one add parameter will be txt last name 
copy here is the last name add parameter here copy this one here txt here then that execute non query okay the sql the parameter uh, the stored procedure then command type okay i will put here using system data here command type that is stored procedure then this is the stored procedure so very simple right finish that one is saved already this is the connection this is the method they connect it means you are connected next is parameter which is here this one you are passing the parameter here in the param value okay next is the execute non query execute non query is uh, this one the sql and the type then execute here return the execute non query so this is the code then i will put here lbl message the text the message will be here it will come here okay the message will be if you click the save the message will come here successfully save so I will put here that text successfully save okay let's try okay So first, I will put here ID, for example, 100 or 001, first name JP, last name Cesar, for example, year is uh, fourth year, uh, no, not fourth year, uh, like four. four, year four, it means fourth year, okay, then click save see as you can see successfully save now we will see here in the database if it is there okay right click this one then edit top 12 views or rows we'll see if this as you can see the data is here okay we will try it again we will try again so 002 for example uh one de la cruz third year click save okay it will be like that then check this one execute or refresh as you can see the data is saved here okay so i hope you understand the the program so as you can see, this, this class is very helpful. Okay, this one is very helpful. You can use this one anywhere, save, update, delete, or whatever you can use this one. So one class you can use in any in any functionalities. Okay. So I hope you understand this one. So next, so please subscribe this one and next, we will put a program here in the delete and we will add here one button. We will, what we call, uh, update the data, okay? So, so that you, can, you have save delete and update 
then we will put here search okay so that one will be in the next video that's why you need to follow the video okay or the tutorial okay thank you i hope you understand